Here we go, set. Football is a physical sport. It's one where you're matched up in a small area and you're, it's a collision that's going to happen between you and someone else. Run your feet. Let's go, run, 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 run. Concussions are a major factor. They're a hot button issue. Stay low. I think the possibilities are endless when it comes to football and technology. The MVP or mobile virtual player is the first robotic, remotely controlled tackling dummy. The top part of it is filled with foam. The bottom part of it is where it has the wheels. It weighs about 190 pounds total. Using the robot limits the amount of contact where two guys can run into each other and then a concussion can occur. We've been using it for our tackling circuit, for our defensive linemen, our linebackers, and our defensive backs. Linebackers have to work on dropping in the open field and making a tackle in space. A typical hard hit in football where helmets contact one another might be what they call 80 Gs or equal to 80 times the acceleration of gravity. Studies recently have indicated that there are between two and a half and 3.2 million concussions each year. The subconcussive hits, the things that happen on the field or in any sport that are asymptomatic at the time, those can build up and we think that plays a big role in the result of CTE that we see in players at the professional level. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy is the development of a protein tau in the brain and its distribution that really leads to essentially dementia. For a college football player, they're going to go through practice seven or eight times as many times as they do games. Where is your focus right now? Nowhere. That's where. Rated right at. Ready, Mike? Go. Track the near hit. It's coming on this angle. Where's your head going to be? Walk through where your head should be on a tackle. Good. Now let's make it happen. Go. Ball. Good job. Technology in sport is looking at a couple of different things. One of them is to just identify what's going on during contact sports. There was a system that was made which puts accelerometers in the helmet to actually measure the force with which a player is being hit. There are wearable technologies that football teams are using that measure the athlete's stress level in terms of muscle activity, blood flow, oxygenation. They also have trackers in uniforms to track how far and how fast players are going. Another area for a lot of focus is mouth guards for measuring players to find out what is happening during contact sports. Those are important because they can address some of the issues related to the rotation of the head. Another area where technology has come into football in particular is using virtual reality where you combine video of alignments and plays on the field so that players can go through repetitions so they don't have to take up field time, they're not at risk of collision in that case, but they can really learn and develop muscle memory and brain memory. The same cameras and the same digital input that's used for the player training can also be used for fan experience. Our players are able to make 50, 60, 70 tackles on the MVP, and what that does is now that's 50, 60, 70 less tackles that one of our players has to make during practice, and that lowers that opportunity for an injury, that lowers their percentage for a concussion. Ready, set, hit.